Hi everyone, in this quick tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can export motion data from Character Creator 3 without including the mesh data in order to minimize the sizes of the files you will import into your Unity Game Engine project. If we compare Character Creator 3.04 to the newly updated 3.1, you'll see that the older pipeline contained a great deal more in each FBX file, including individual meshes and textures, which took up huge amounts of space. In 3.1, we've streamlined that down to a fraction of the required space. Where previously a few animations would take up over a gigabyte of space, now you can do it for around 15 megabytes. This is a huge resource saver that our users have been clamoring for. Okay, so once we're in Character Creator 3, the first step is to go over and export the FBX from the file menu. Since we're going to be using Unity, let's choose the Unity Target Tool preset. There are three FBX options here. You can do Mesh Alone, Motion Alone, or both Mesh and Motion combined into the same FBX, which was the only option in previous versions. For this tutorial, we're going to choose Motion Only. In the Include Motion section, what I want to do is choose the Custom option and then load up our files. I can choose a single file at a time like this attack combo, or if I want, I can hold Shift and select multiple files at the same time. In this case, we want each file to have its own separate motion, so we need to go down and select the Save One Motion Per File option and then Export. I'm going to go to the folder where I want to save the motions and then simply enter animation in the file name field. What this will do is add an animation prefix to each one of the exported files to signify that it is an animation only. The export in this case will be a lot faster as well since there's a lot less data to deal with. Once the export is finished, you'll see that there are FBM folders still created for each separate file. We can go ahead and delete these since we only need the animation. As you can see, if we check the properties of all the files combined, it comes out to a measly 15.6 megabytes for five animations. Once the export is complete, let's head over to our project in Unity. I've loaded a project already that contains an imported Character Creator 3 character and a simple T-pose with no animation. The Auto Setup 1.01 for Unity has already been installed in this project. If we take a brief look at the animator controller, we can see that there is only a single idle animation that is the character's default motion. If we head over to the Scene tab and press play, we can see it in action. From here, let's select a couple of the motions that we want to apply to our character. I'm going to choose the Slash, Attack, and Taunt motions. If we expand the FBX files in our Project tab, you can see the T-Pose along with the actual animation. Before proceeding, you'll want to ensure that your animation type is set to humanoid. Then let's select our character and open up the animator controller once again. Now we can simply click and drag our FBX animation files into the controller window. In order to get them to play when we're previewing our scene, we need to right click on the default idle animation and make a transition to the slash motion. We can then repeat that same process to connect the taunting motion. Finally, let's head back into the Scene tab and play back. Once we do, you can see the character transition from the Idle to the Slash, and finally to the Taunt at the end. So that's about all there is to it. By exporting motions only, you can really reduce the sizes of the FBX files you import into your Unity project, making for a more streamlined and efficient project. Thanks for watching everyone, and make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.